A local man says the death of his dog is one of more than 500 currently under investigation by the FDA. And now the government is trying to determine whether grain free pet food is leading to heart disease. We know our pets are part of the a part of the family. Yeah. Investigative reporter Carla Ray went through the FDA's data and Carla, you can still buy grain free dog food in stores. Popular choice for people, especially with dogs like mine. I have my Pekingese here. He's sort of predisposed to allergy issues and skin problems. So people seek this out to relieve their dogs from that sort of itching. But the FDA put out a warning, possibly linking grain free dog food to heart disease in pets. And now, as this investigation continues, pet owners just have to wonder. So when you have a dog from six weeks, like everything they are came from you, pretty much, you know? And it's. It was hard. Blue was part of Rob Hart's life for her entire life. 11 years of friendship that came to an end in spring of 2019. Unfortunately, when you have dogs, you're going to lose them. That's just part of having them. But to see her suffer was just horrible. It was horrible. Blue developed heart disease in 2018 after eating grain-free dog food exclusively for about five years. <laughs> Hart's other dog, Spike, was also eating grain-free until he learned the Food and Drug Administration was conducting an investigation into a possible link to the limited ingredient pet food and heart disease. I think I contributed to her suffering by giving her dog food that I thought I thought I was doing the right thing. The FDA received more than 500 reports of canine dilated cardiomyopathy over the course of five years. You can read firsthand accounts from their owners or vets online. More than 90% of those animals were using products labeled grain free. Most clients that I see that are fe feeding grain free are dogs that have a lot of skin issues and they're itching. And so it's been promoted grain free diet will help your dog stop itching. Veterinarian Dr. Deborah Smith says living in Florida, many dogs are predisposed to skin issues due to allergens and the year-round presence of fleas. Have you had a lot of clients come in who say that they are feeding grain-free? Yes, we see many clients that are feeding grain-free. We haven't specifically seen dogs with heart disease yet from a grain-free diet, but that's we are making sure to ask everybody, what do you feed your dog at home? And if it's grain-free, we're re making other recommendations. Dogs with heart disease will frequently cough and pant. For Blue, the symptoms lasted for about eight months. So people should at least be informed and if they're not informed, they can't make the they can't make the informed decision. And while the FDA continues its investigation, grain-free pet food is still widely available without warning. It's just scary to think that that stuff is still on the market, and maybe maybe it is causing a problem. So now, in Hart's case, the manufacturer of the dog food that his, he was feeding his dog, Blue, actually sent him a check for the remaining bags that he had in his pantry to reimburse him for that while the FDA continues its investigation. So if you're feeding your pet grain-free, you find that nothing else is working for them with their skin issues, one thing you can do, experts say, is to have your veterinarian listen to their heart a little more closely during their annual checkups, just in case they can spot something with the heart before things go terrible terribly wrong. Reporting live, I'm Carla Ray, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And Murrow Ray did a great job there as well. Yeah, she didn't bring Emmy because she said Emmy would not behave, but Murrow was a better dog. During her too. story, yeah. I quickly Googled <laughs> our dog's dog food to see yeah. if Lucky's was grain-free. It is not, so okay. Okay. go with that. And we know